How's it going guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a microphone for your SLR, um, a smartphone, camera, DSLR, compact, digital SLR, anything that uses pretty much a 3.5mm jack that I'm doing a quick unboxing here. So I've got this from Amazon. The CVM VM10 11 2 or something uh, microphone. Uh, now it's quite cheap, you can get this for about $47.99 at the moment uh, uh, on Amazon. Um, and it's, you know, we're going to compare it, compare it to something like the Rode microphone, which are a lot more expensive. It is quite cheap. Um, so this is the, uh, you know, the front of the box here, it's the side. Um, on the back it says some um, information about the specs. You've got the Super Cardioid. Um, 100 decibels, you know, 80 years to 16,000 kilohertz. I'm not some kind of microphone professional by any stretch of the imagination, but it gives you an idea of uh, you know what you kind of get in there. So you've got some stuff there saying there, it's got the super anti interference, shock absorption, and all that kind of stuff. But take with a grain of salt. It does say it supports um, smartphones as well as uh, cameras, and it comes with some mic booms on it. So let's just open it up here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you get the plastic uh, blister pack. It is actually quite small. It's more than I thought it'd be compared to the pictures. So you get this little um, uh, instruction manual there as well. So in there you see that it says um, you know basic uh, setup. You know how to mount it on your phone, how to mount it on your camera, uh, all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's good to know, it's got that, it's a little accessories explaining what they are, uh, some kind of frequency response specs there, uh, different language on the back, so you do get that with it. Um, you get the dead rat as if it's called, or dead mouse, um, so you get a nice, it's actually quite good quality, it does feel really nice that. Um, really nice and fluffy, um, it hasn't got loads of fur bits kind of falling off which is good, and you've got the Kamika kind of um, label there as well which is good to see um, yeah it does feel quite nice that um, you've got a little uh, jack to jack that's a 3.5mm jack to 3.5mm jack adapter and you've got a another 3.5mm jack to 3.5mm jack so what, a bit weird how they give you two uh, or oh, one of the smartphone and one of the camera so that's what it says on the manual so um, that's good uh, handy to get ah um, oh, there you go so the difference is this one's got two uh, line poles there, and that one's got two, and that one's got three, so that'll be the difference. Uh, oh, sorry, you got some more uh, stuff here. Um, got some uh, warning notices there about interference, and you've also got some uh, professional audio equipment warranty instructions. So let's get the actual little microphone out here, the little gel packet. Uh, all right, so here we go. We've got the actual little microphone. It is very small, a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Uh, but that means it's uh, lightweight as well, very nice. Um, uh, if I take the boom mic off there, you can see that we've got the uh, actual shotgun kind of uh, microphone set up. Uh, it's all made out of metal, uh, very well made. Um, a lot, was, which is quite good because I was expecting a plastic construction to be honest for this kind of price. But it is actually made out of metal, which is good to see. Um, this feels solid as well, the mount, the bracket, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. This is a little. Um, uh, card which you can use to tighten it, very cool stuff. Uh, and you've got obviously the microphone boom which you stick on there, and then you've got the microphone uh, big one there for maybe if you're out on the outside and you've got wind coming at you, that's going to do a better job of uh, you know uh, putting off the uh, wind noise. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get this microphone, I'm going to uh, attach it to my um, compact SLR, which I'm actually filming on right now, as well as my uh, mobile phone. So, it gives you an idea of what it's going to sound like when, in your, when using it yourself. Alright, so here it is on my DSLR, so my compact Lumix G7, and I'm stood about, say, about one and a half to two meters away from the actual microphone. Obviously, it is in my kitchen, so it's a closed environment, not much wind going on here, but this is a kind of uh, uh, sound you'd expect to get from this thing. Uh, I'm sure it will sound a lot better from the stock mic I've got in my SLR, so it's pretty cool that I've got this because my audio quality is going to be a lot better on my videos now. Um, but you can check up um, with the close up and what it actually looks like actually on the camera. It fits really stable. The cog actually, when you screw, screw it in, it works, uh, holds it very tight, and the, um, the included cable just fits on perfectly. So 
um, you know, uh, really cool for me. Um, I really like it. And when you plug it into the G7, you also get little bars that come up on the screen that show you the uh, mic levels, which you don't get. Uh, from the standard um, uh, sock microphone that's built into the camera. So thanks for watching my unboxing and quick review. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you know, if you want to know where you want to get it from, just click on the link below, uh, which takes you directly to the product. Thanks.